Hello there guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of new things which are available with the new African Kingdoms expansion and patch 4.4 for Age of Empires 2 HD. Now, since the 4.4 patch, uh, the team have made it possible for complete architecture overhauls to be put on the Steam Workshop. It's completely moddable now in a way that it wasn't before. So keep an eye out on the Steam Workshop for some new and exciting uh, workshop content. Now, one of those content pieces are already available. And that is the Indian Architecture set, which is taken as an official mod for the game and you can find it on the steam workshop with the link that i put in the description to this video now this renovation this overhaul of the indian architecture completely replaces every single building to the indians and it's one of what i hope will be many future mods in a similar vein so what I'll do is I'll show off some of the new stuff that this adds and I've got a little easter egg in this video for you guys as well. So up to the north of the map here in the Indian campaign you'll see the new Indian castle looking quite majestic on that hill but you'll also see that they have new walls, new gates, everything fits in very nicely with new houses, a blacksmith back here a market and an archery range. On the right side there's a siege workshop and this right here is the university as well. If we come down to the little area down in the center of the map you'll see that there's uh, the, a monastery here, the uh, the temple in this uh, campaign and also the mill as well. What I'll do now as well is also jump across to the scenario editor to show you the feudal age and castle age sets next to one another along with some of the imperial age uh, buildings that have been added in this mod. So here we are in the scenario editor and I've laid out all of the different buildings that are available and that have a new skin in this texture modification. At the back here you can see the fire tower, the bombard tower and the watch tower. We've got the archery range, the barracks, the stable and uh, I think it all fits in really nicely. You can see the Castle Age buildings, which are the university, the siege workshop here, they all have these kind of grey roofs, while the feudal buildings have the more sort of brick, um, sort of sandy looking colour roofs on them. I think when we get to the Castle Age though, these may update and become sort of, you know, uh, more grey looking, like the siege workshop and the university here. Even the trade workshop got a little bit of love, even though that's a, a building that's basically never used in a standard game. But that's nice to see, they've really gone the extra mile by doing this one as well. So I'll delete this outpost and we'll go up to the castle age. There we go. And you can see that automatically, you know, everything updates and I was right as well. You see these uh, buildings, the archery range, the stable, the barracks, they all have these sort of grey tile roofs. And that's the, that's true for everything, actually. It all, it all fits really nicely. And, you know, one of the difficult things when designing a new architecture set is making everything very easily recognizable. And you can see the mill is quite drastically different, but most of the other buildings are, you know, very similar to the base buildings in the game. And that's really important to make things instantly recognizable. You see though that the mining camp and the lumber camp don't actually have a, uh, a skin. I don't know if that might be added later on or something, but it would certainly be possible to do that. Though it's not necessary since not all civs do have unique uh, mining camp and lumber camp graphics. So we'll delete the next outpost, go to the Imperial Age, and we'll see a couple of updates here. Notably the market, which is something that usually gets a little larger when you go to the Imperial Age. You see it gets a little bit taller. And actually this is really interesting. I've only just noticed this, but you see these like uh, these golden little bell things on the top. That's actually uh, very similar to the Indian Wonder. And I haven't got the Indian Wonder placed down in the scenario right now, but what I'll do in a second is place the Indian Wonder down so you can kind of see where this is coming from. Uh, also on the town center that gets a little bit more bling, bling bling. Look at that, gold all over the place. And uh, also the university gets a little bit taller at the back as well. So not many upgrade updates with the uh, Imperial Age upgrade, but that's pretty standard throughout all the civs as well anyway. So really awesome stuff. I'm loving the way this looks. And really, guys, there's absolutely no reason not to get this. It's a free download, and it's going to make the game just look so much better. 
obviously it's going to give the civilizations more variety in the way that they look and you know it, it's totally possible to do a graphic overhaul for every single civilization if someone wants to go that far and, t uh, and take on that task so let me just really quickly cut the video here and I'll put the Indian wonder down so you can see what I'm talking about all right, so here next to the market then you can see the Indian wonder and I guess that's where what I was talking about with the, the little golden sort of spires on the top. You see where they're taking the inspiration from. And given that the wonder was in the game before this architecture set was actually designed, uh, I think it does you know really show that the the author or the, the developer of this architecture set has really put a lot of thought and effort into how it should look to actually fit in with the style of AOC and the style of their existing wonder as well. So I said earlier in this video that I'd have a little easter egg for you as well and this is a little known thing about the African Kingdoms which I will share with you guys right now. Now Age of Empires 2 is called, you know, Age of Empires 2 the Age of Kings. It's all about the kings, the African Kingdoms. That word king, it's all, uh, all, all over the place in this game. And uh, speaking of kings, that is something that uh, never really got a lot of love in the expansion packs in the past. The king sprite always remained the same. But now, with the African kingdoms, new king sprites have been added, which is really cool. On the left side here, you'll see the Indian king. You'll see the red king here is the standard king of AOC and AOK. To the right, I guess you can imagine whose king that is. Well, yes, that's the Aztecs. Also the same for the Incas and the Mayans. To the right of that, the Ethiopian king, slightly different to the Indian one, looking pretty cool. And uh, I don't have the scouting info, but we do now. And you see on the far right, we see the Asian king, the Japanese king there as well. So when you're playing your regicide games, you're going to have some fancy new kings to take a look at as well. And uh, to be honest with you, if this doesn't make you want to play regicide, well, I don't know what else possibly will. I know now, after knowing this little fact about, uh, you know, Know, the African kingdoms I'm going to be playing a lot more regicide so go check out the architecture set in the uh, link down below get it downloaded take a look at it see what you think and uh, I'm also going to make another video fairly soon looking at some other mods that are available on the Steam Workshop because there's actually a bunch of really cool ones that have recently been added and I want to share those with you guys as well but for now thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time